forecasting supply of inside candidates. Students, it's very important to forecast supply of inside candidates. As you, as you know that there are staffing equation and there are two parts of staffing equation. The first part is determining staffing needs and the second part is determining supply of inside and outside candidates. Determining the staffing needs satisfy only half the staffing equation. Estimating the likely supply of both inside and outside candidates is the second half of the equation. How to forecast supply of inside candidates? The main task is determining which current employees might be qualified for the projected job openings. In every company, there are a number of projected job openings and we should know that how many candidates within the organizations are qualified for such kind of positions. Therefore, to know about this, we have qualifications or skill inventories. Inventories are the records listing employees unique data to be used in determining inside candidates for promotion. What kind of unique data it is? It is. The unique data includes qualifications, skills, certifications, training courses, etc. There are two main types of qualifications or skill inventories. One is manual system and second is computerized records. In manual system is most commonly used by the smaller firms. Why smaller firms use manual system? Because smaller firms has a less number of employees and it is easy to track employees qualification and skills through manual system. If you have only 5 to 10 employees, you can know about each employee's qualification and skills through manual system. The manual system has personal inventory and development record form. This form is used to compile basic professional information of each employee. Here I mention only professional information. Professional information includes their qualification, their experience, the course taken by the organization and other relevant assignments which they have done for the, their company. The professional information include professional education, company sponsors course taken, their career development interest, their language expertise, their desired assignments and their relevant skills. Such kind of information are very helpful to identify the supply of inside candidates for your organization. Most of the time, manual system use two different kinds of things. First is personal replacement charts. Personal replacement charts are company records showing present performance and promotability of inside candidates for the most important positions. It means Replacement charts are relevant to the personal. This is relevant to the person who need to be promoted to the next position. So we can identify that what are their current performance, how they perform in the last quarter, how they performed in the last year, and what are their chances of promotion. While there is a position replacement card, as the name indicates, these cards are prepared for each position in a company. And why it is prepared? It is prepared to show possible replacement candidates and their qualification. So these two concepts, one is a personal replacement charts and second is a position replacement card. These need to be matched together. And then we have to reach a conclusion that what current employees are actually in the positions to promote to the next level. By this way, we can help employees to reach to the next level in their organization and this manual system is most commonly used only in the small firms. 